What's up guys? Cursive Man here. Uh, here to do a video today on um, some plants. I've never done a plant video on my channel before. It's always been comic books, uh, you know, transformers, coins, cards, guns, whatever. But uh, I also collect plants and um, so uh, I've watched quite a few YouTube videos online, you know, of course researching plants and whatnot. And, Found a really cool channel, uh, a girl by the name of Erica. I think her channel name is Erica Schmoop. I could be totally destroying that name right now, but um, hopefully she'll comment below and you can follow it to her page. But she was kind enough to do a giveaway with uh, Steve's Leaves out of Texas, and um, I won a gift card on the drawing she had. So. Um, came to show off those plants but also wanted to show my collection that I have right now and um, just kind of you know give you a little tour it'll be kind of more like a vlog type thing most of my videos are always me walking around or uh, me sitting at a desk but since these are kind of all over my house I'm going to uh, you know kind of give you a little tour of what's going on so we'll uh, I guess we can start in my dining room and I'll show you you hear my little pitter patter of the feet. That's my boy Bruno down there. He's <laughs> he's crazy. Um, anyhow, let me uh, flip the camera. Show you the first one in here in my dining room. This is uh, our dining room with our wall of crosses and stuff that when you first walk into our foyer. But um, this is a uh, a uh, squirrel fur uh, squirrel footed fern, I believe is what it's called. It's got the really cool, uh, I think they're called rhizomes or something like that, that come out and grab a hold of the um, pot and all. It's really neat. So I keep it right there. It does pretty good under this LED light that puts off, uh, gosh, I want to say it's like 5,000K on the, um, so it gets pretty good light right there. It's doing okay. So yeah, come on in here cut this light on so I can't see. I swear. We rarely use this room in the house. So um, it's our dining room. Um, over here we got a Sansevieria snake plant. It's a perfect plant just to kind of sit in a corner somewhere and kind of forget about. It doesn't uh, require a lot of maintenance. This one's actually a little bit dry, so it probably needs some water, but they, you can let them go a pretty good little while without having to give them much water. Let's see, we got a little small one coming up in the back there. Over here is my, um, I believe this was a Thanksgiving cactus that uh, my wife got for me back during Christmas time. They were advertising as a Christmas cactus, but that's not actually what it is. Um, Got one of my Dracenias down here. Got that at Walmart for like five bucks. I couldn't believe, you know, it's a pretty nice, good sized plant. Real pretty variegation on the leaves and stuff. Um, you yeah, couldn't pass up five dollars for that. And then over here, it's one of my favorite plants. This is my uh, Monstera Deliciosa. See, it's got a brand new leaf coming up here. When I got it, it was originally just these few little small ones on the bottom and this grown these all this stuff right here these two shoots are brand new so yeah I moved it in here because I think it's getting a little bit better sunlight um, this is the east facing window so it's it really strong morning light so I'm, I'm trying it out in here see if it works so um, it's a uh, it's a kind of a that's kind of the game here at my house with lighting because the, um, the, I don't know how to describe it. My house is kind of dark on the inside, so it's tough to get a lot of natural light. So I have to supplement with uh, grow lights and stuff like that. So yeah, but um, I'm going to go on in here into the living room and I'll show you guys some of my other stuff here. Let me switch the camera again. Right here we got some uh, Kawartheas. I believe these are the zebra. I got all these, let's see here. That's the uh, uh, Fasciata 
the contour. That's the that's the different like um, I believe it's the different sort of like almost just like the zebra, but it's got the sort of dots instead of the stripes on it. <clears throat> that's the, the, these two are just the normal zebras. Uh, found these at Walmart. They were in these little skulls um, on the discount rack for like two dollars. So grabbed them all up and this other one here also was in the same thing it's uh let's see here limifolia striata so yeah they got such weird texture it feels really neat um you get that and then i've got these under a led light also on over this way oh we got a bruno pillow <laughs> That's my wife's. Uh, over here, let me sit down here and I'll show you. This is one of my bonsai trees. I do uh, bonsai also. And um, it's a uh, little fig. And I brought it in because it's been really cold here the past few days, or actually weeks now. So I uh, brought it in just to keep it um, from getting, it can't handle really cold, so. Uh, then we got the, uh, of course, the little, I think it's a Norfolk pine tree. Picked that up at Walmart during Christmas time, and uh, it's doing really good. Uh, I got my Cardone cactus, probably my favorite cactus I have. Uh, it's actually the world's largest cactus when it's fully grown. So it's really cool. So um, been in here, I plan on this summer when it gets warm outside to move it out there. And I have all these under a little grow light. This is my Euphorbia um, Lactea. It's a white ghost or a dragon bone, that's what it's called. It's got some really cool um, pink like tips on it. I'm not sure what that is as far as these go. I just know this is poisonous. You don't want to get the, the sap on the inside on your skin. It's pretty bad for you. It's got that in a really cool pot that I got for Christmas. Uh, Talavera, I believe, in Mexico. This is my really big snake plant right here, just like the one in there. It's just, this one's huge. It, um, it's having to get, I guess it's doing well right here. I don't, I don't have any trouble out of it. It grows good. Uh, over here we got it's kind of hard to see them because it's so dark over here. They like the dark, but there you can see it. My two uh, Marimo balls. Keep them over there. That's the ones we named Mario and Ouija. <laughs> um, then over here we got some uh, Spanish moss, which is actually an air plant. This is on some of my petrified wood that I, I used to work in a gravel pit, and we found this stuff like... 60 and 70 foot deep in the earth and brought it up you see it's got all the crystals in it it's pretty amazing uh it's a solid white piece that has opal inside of it and some big logs it, it's really cool it sounds almost like glass it's just, petrified wood's pretty amazing so anyways got the spanish moss hanging on there uh, up here we got some more of my cacti this which is cactus is probably my favorite plant so this one is the uh, toothpick cactus we got devil's tongue it's got some new growth coming out on it got the uh, the old man I think it's called Peruvian maybe I could be wrong on that some of the uh, little cuttings I took from one of the uh, other ones in there this one I don't know what in the world it's doing <laughs> it's just drooping like crazy. I don't know why, but so I kind of moved it to a different window to see if it helped. But yeah, it used to all stand up perfectly straight, so I'm not sure what's the deal with that. Got a little Irish red, um, little one in this tiny little owl pot here. Uh, one of my aloe plants, they're growing really long and crazy. Uh, down here, I got. Because of Erica's videos, she's got me hooked on these begonias. So this one is, uh, I have no clue which one this is. I just know it's a Rex begonia. I don't know the 
other name for it or anything. Ow, gum! I just hit the cactus. Um, but yeah, they're really cool. And I have this pan here that I keep water in. I keep it elevated with rocks so it doesn't sit in water. But these take a lot of humidity, so I uh, try to supplement that way. One of my um, orchids back here. Uh, these are some of my Tillandsia air plants. This thing is beautiful. It does really well uh, right there. So it's in a coyote skull. Uh, here's another one. I don't forget the name of this one, but it it's really creepy looking. We call it Slender Man. Uh, some of my uh, snake, uh, another snake plant cutting I did, just trying it out to see if I could get it to work. It, work perfectly just like it does in the video um, right here you got some splatter plant babies I planted rattlesnake calathea down here um, <clears throat> a couple uh, I think this is a candlestick cactus right here and then some uh, prickly pear something off of that family cactus right there those normally stay outside um, also has petrified pieces of wood down in there in the pot. I brought them in for the winter time. Um, this is a cutting off of a giant prickly pear cactus that a older gentleman gave me. Uh, he has a shop not too far from here and I've seen this plant growing forever there since I was a little kid and I stopped and asked if he would mind if I had a cutting off of it and went out there and chopped me off two big old pieces and growing them now so it looks like it's really happy it's got a lot of new little growth coming on the top of it here so and then up here we got a uh, the, the spider plant that the babies came off of it's kind of looks kind of sad it might need a little water obviously <laughs> that one's one that I kind of tend to forget about sometimes I don't know why because it's hanging right there in my face but um, so yeah, move it into the kitchen. Set these plants right here down because these are the ones that I actually purchased with the gift card that I won. I'll show those to y'all last. But um, up here, let me switch the camera for you guys. This is like an old reused piece of um, heart pine that we found. And I turned it into just a shelf. I mean, you can see it's not straight by any means, but it's really cool. I mean, I... It's a beautiful piece of wood, so I put it to use and made a little shelf off the window. I have a gray light under here. It drove us crazy for a little while because that color is pretty strong, but the plants seem to love it up here. So up here I've got a uh, resurrection plant. It's one that if you let it, let the water go dry, it'll curl up into a little ball and uh, it's really cool. You just add water, it opens right back up. Up here, I've got some little succulents and a couple more um, cuttings trying to propagate some Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus. Right here, we got the world's littlest cardone. This was in the pot. There's my hand beside it so you can see the size. <laughs> That was in the pot with that giant cardone in there. And uh, don't mind all the dishes, please. Um, yeah, it was just sitting in there. So I put it in this little pot and trying to get it to grow. So I have another one. A couple of, uh, I think, I know this is a golden barrel, but I'm not sure if this is also. It looks really close. Um, I know their spikes are pretty vicious. These are those skulls I was telling you about that were at Walmart that had all those Haworthias in them. Uh, right here we got another little Tillandsia air plant in a like Day of the Dead type. I know that light's killing you guys. Day of the Dead type little holder thing. Uh, I believe that's an aloe right here. That's a piece that broke off of my um, Euphorbia when it shipped. So I just stuck it in the pot to let it grow. I'll have another plant. Uh, here is some of the um, little, uh, that's the ones that I told you to take the cuttings off of over there, uh, Apuntia. I forget what they call this thing. It's uh, like a 
Jeez, I can't even read my own handwriting. Anyways, <laughs> get the picture. You see these all the time. Super easy to grow. It's more little succulent plants. These almost look like little palm trees to me. Uh, another aloe back there. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> last spot that I have plants going is in my uh, laundry room here. We just redid this room. That's why you see this bright kind of different color on the wall we decorated in here. But up top up here, I've got a golden or a neon pothos. And then the Wandering Jew over here, it's huge. And then the other is the corn plant right here. So yeah, it's, um, does really good in here. Uh, I wish now I wouldn't have bought it really because it's just kind of big and awkward and sort of gets in the way. But I mean, I like it okay. It's not my favorite plant. I thought it wasn't going to last for a little while, but it changed colors, I think, because it wasn't getting enough sunlight, so I moved it in here, and it gets pretty good now. I'm going to take you guys out here and show you the other outside my house here. The guy gave me two cuttings of that prickly pear, so I got I put one in the ground. It's about the same exact size. It's doing just as good. I just, it's a little bit leery to stick it in the ground. Um right off the bat because I didn't want to kill one. So I kept one in the pot just to be safe. These are uh, yucca plants I got from my mom in South Carolina. Uh, this is gonna be the lime tree and then I have a lemon tree over here. In my windowsill up here, I've got really um, awesome smelling lavender and uh, it's the stuff's really cool. It smells so good. <clears throat> um, like I said, this is the lemon. I could be backwards. One of them's lemon, one of them's lime. So yeah, got this one. Over here's the other one. Then uh, right here, I've got Mexican petunias going all the way across here. And uh, the yard looks terrible right now, but one of my Japanese maples. Of course, it's dormant right now. Um, let's see, over here I also do bonsai trees. This is one of the um, gray owl junipers I did. I got it in training right now with the wire and stuff, so it's um, really neat, uh, really cool. Um, still got work to do on it, but it, bonsai takes a pretty good amount of time. So, so yeah, uh, over here, Let's see what else we got. Some more bonsai trees I worked on. This is a, another gray owl that I did. It's huge. Uh, it's got a giant trunk on it that I found. I just thought it was really, really neat. So got it in training also. Uh, another, that's just a regular um, juniper right there. Procumbus nana, I believe. Some oleander, more petrified wood pompous grass that we're trying to grow and this is a baby sequoia a giant sequoia right there so um found out after uh i got that tree that our soil here in alabama is terrible for sequoias because we have a lot of clay and they don't like that so i'm probably going to keep it in a pot so you know it won't get massive but we'll see um and then this little water fountain i found all this moss that I just stuck on there and just thriving like crazy off the uh, the water that drips up off of it all the time so it's pretty cool so yeah that's uh, all my plants um, I know this is kind of been an awkward video of me wandering around my yard and house but um, I've never been one to have super edited videos or anything so hope you guys enjoyed it um, Thank you again, Erica, for doing the contest. Your videos are awesome. You guys need to check her out. Um, really fun. Uh, she's um, She and her husband getting ready to have a baby, so that's awesome too. So congratulations to you guys on that. And uh, yeah, I will be back pretty soon because I'm gonna do another sumo card unboxing. I got some coming in the mail. Should be here in, I'd say, a week or two, hopefully. 
So I'll be doing that and uh, give you guys an updated tour of my sumo stuff that I got. And uh, yeah, more stuff coming, hopefully. And um, I might do more of these plant videos. I don't know. It's a little out of my element, but we'll see. So this one's been kind of long, but appreciate you guys watching. Um, anyways, uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you got any questions, shoot me a comment down below, and I'll try my best to answer for you. Y'all take care. What's up? I had to add this on here because I didn't even show the plants that I won on the first video. It's ridiculous. I didn't win, but the plants I got with the gift card that I won. Uh, let me show this to you guys right quick. This is a, I believe it was called a, uh, gosh, uh, Dragon's Breath. Uh, Harmony's Dragon Breath, I believe is what it was. Uh, um... Begonia. Gosh, I'm just totally... I'm, you can tell I don't do a lot of YouTube videos. But the color on this thing is amazing. That It's got that little whip down there. It's kind of a um, hybrid. That's why they call it this Dragon's Breath. So it's uh, Dragon's Fire. Fire Breathing Dragon. There we go. So yeah, really awesome. Got that from Steve's Leaves. It's really cool. And then got... This is a... Um, Madagascar palm tree so uh, I love cactus and I saw those little spikes and I was like hey it looks like a cactus so this can grow up to like 15 feet tall and um, it's really cool so so yeah there we go hopefully I can add this on there on the end of this video I don't know if that's gonna work so we'll see but again thank you Erica for the contest and uh, appreciate you guys watching